This question is given in gate 2009 in the subject digital. Okay. What are the counting stages Q1 and Q2 for the counter shown in this figure below? Okay. This is the figure they have shown. It consists of two JK flip flops. This is JK flip flop number one and this is JK flip flop number two. They are asking the counting stages Q1 and Q2. Okay. Generally, in the case of flip flops, if you know the present state and present input, then only we can figure out the next stage. Until unless we don't know the present stage and present, we cannot find the values of next state. Okay. Since these are sequential, we need to know present state, present state, which is important. Okay. And present inputs, present inputs. Then only we can find the next state. Okay. Otherwise, we cannot find the next state. So if you observe here, Q1 is the present state, Q1 plus will be the next state. Similarly, Q2 is the present state, Q2 plus will be the next state. So, next state will be the function of, next state will be the function of present state and present inputs. Present state and present inputs. Present inputs. So, from this we can write, Q1 plus which is the next state of Q1 is equals to function of present state Q1 present inputs for this first flip flop inputs are J1 and K1 J1 comma K1 okay similarly we can write Q2 plus Q2 plus is the next state of Q2 this will be equal to function of Q2 and present inputs J2 comma K2 okay in this way we need to figure it out for finding the next state next state is nothing but the counting sequence now uh, now we need to write uh, some of the important things here uh, first we will write um, the truth table for jk flip-flop which is very important jk flip-flop truth table jk flip-flop truth table here input is j and k and here this is qn plus which is the next state okay now we will write all possibilities all possibilities of two input okay now whenever j is 0 k is 0 okay now whenever j is 0 k is 0 the output will be qn itself okay which means whatever the present state value it will be carried it to the next state or present state value will be hold on to the next state so this is also called hold state okay hold state now for j0 k1 okay for 0 and 1 it will be 0 it is nothing but set state preset state sorry preset state now for 1 and 0 it will be 1 which is set state and for 1 and 1 for 1 and 1 it will be qn bar means inversion state inversion state this is the important truth table which you need to remember for 0 and 0 next state will be hold on state or the same input will be carried out now for 0 and 1 it will be 0 reset state for 1 and 0 it will be 1 set state for 1 and 1 it is qn bar that is inversion of the present state will be carried on to the next state okay now if you observe here, if you observe here this diagram, the inputs J1 is equals to K1 is equals to Q2 bar. Here two inputs are carried, two inputs J1 and K1 are connected to Q2 bar. Similarly, J2 is connected to J2 is connected to Q1 bar and K2 is always 1 here. Okay. Now we will derive a tabular column consists of present state present state and present inputs present inputs and we will write here the next state next state the present state is q1 q2 present inputs are j1 k1 j2 k2 next state is q1 plus the other state is q2 plus 
okay this is the important tabular column with which we can easily get the answer and don't think this is very very difficult this is very easy just simply just simply uh, noting down the values from the truth table okay initially initially the present state values will be reset state which means at 0 0 q1 is 0 q2 is 0 from this from this j1 k1 j1 k1 is q2 bar you take q2 and you apply bar on it so 0 bar will be 1 0 bar will be 1 so for j2 it is q1 bar q1 is 0 0 bar is 1 and k1 is 1 always now from this uh, jk truth table jk truth table if both are 1 then output is qn bar here both are 1 output is q1 bar so 0 bar is 1 okay i am just taking the values from these truth tables and from these inputs and noting down in the table okay if you miss this column you can catch up in the next column now q2 bar how to do not the how to write the q2 bar by taking the j2 k2 values here j2 is nothing but q1 bar here q1 is 0 okay okay we have written that now q2 q2 next state is the function of present state and present inputs uh, now q2 q2 see here here j is 1 k is 1 it is q n bar here j2 is 1 k2 is 1 the q2 equal to q2 bar 0 bar will be 1 okay now this will be the present state values for the next state so this will come here 1 and 1 okay 1 and 1 now jk j1 k1 equal to q2 bar you take the q2 and you apply inversion okay j1 k1 equal to q2 bar okay now j2 is q1 bar 1 bar is 0 now k2 is 1 directly right here now if you observe here 0 0 means qn will be there so j1 equal to 0 j2 equal to 0 the next state will be the present state itself it will be 1 for 0 and 1 for 0 and 1 if you see here 0 and 1 it will be reset state so you can write 0 here these next state values will be the current present state values 1 0 for j1 and k1 it is nothing but q2 bar so it will be 1 and 1 j2 equal to q1 bar so 1 bar equal to 0 k2 is 1 now if you observe that for 1 and 1 it equal to the present state inversion so 1 inversion is 0 are you following this so whenever you encounter j1 equal to 1 k1 equal to 1 the next state value is the inversion of present state in this case present state is this one so the next state is this inversion one inversion is 0 for q2 for q2 it is 0 1 0 1 is nothing but a reset state so it will be 0 and this will act as present state values 0 and 0 now we got the values of 0 0 so 0 0 is nothing but again it's a cyclic process okay likewise it keeps on moving now the values we can write as 0 0 comma 1 1 comma 1 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 1 and it's on is follows okay these are the counting sequence you need to count like this okay now if you observe in the options it is 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 one 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 zero 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 one one so i think they have given from the second point okay see the sequence zero zero one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero and so on continues so they have given the option from the second no problem because it is anyway the counting sequence the same sequence appears at regular intervals so if you see the options it is one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero and so on so option a is the correct answer okay if you see no other uh, sequence in the bcd are matching with this they either one term is missing or two terms are missing or not even present or exactly of one term okay so option a is the correct answer how we have solved this question is if you observe the diagram carefully two flip-flops are given two jk flip-flops in this until and unless we know the present state and present inputs we cannot say the 
next state values okay that is the key point here next state q1 plus for the q1 is a function of q1 the present state and the input values j1 k1 and we should know the truth table for jk flip-flop where if two inputs are zero it will be whole state if for zero and one it will be reset state for one zero it will be set state for one one it will be the inversion state that is inversion of present state now by using this diagram we have found the values of j1 k1 and j2 k2 by using this we have to write the tabular column concept of present state present inputs and next state where present state consists of the present state values q1 and q2 present inputs are j1 k1 for flip flop 1 j2 k2 for flip flop 2 and next state values are q1 plus and q2 plus from the first we need to get the reset state that is 0 0 and by using this we fill the jk values from jk values from the jk flip flop truth table we need to write the next state values and at this point this will be the present state values for the next state so 1 1 will come here then you continue the cyclic process until you find the same cycle which you have seen in the starting so we can write option a is the correct answer